Hi everybody. Today I am going to show you how to design a beam in a software like this one, Robot Structural Analysis. And you can see here I have taken an example of a beam design. Actually this is I have taken from my video which I posted in YouTube in EduStube this channel. So if you are interested you can visit this EduStube in YouTube then you can watch it. Actually I have taken this the reason is the value I have got I mean I have found here like factored moments and the steel number of steels as well checking the moment resistance i will compare it with the what i will do in the software for that reason i have taken this so let's start here i will start from the scratch take this rc element design and remove the old one here what I had so now it's ready I can click on RC element go for beams so I want to bring the beam here physically we can see the beam so here this is the beam and this beam is according to this dimension what we can see here right now but we have to change all this so what I will do here I will bring it here this one I will bring it here this one and I will change the dimensions so let's see the dimension have a look here dimension 450 by 700 and span is 8 meters. So let's work on it. So span geometry it is 8 meters. So what I will do here I will take 7.8. Here 20 so 10 centimeter will be added here again if I put here 20 so 10 centimeter will be added here because this span will be counted from center to center of this so we are done here span geometry so click apply so it is showing now let's see the size of the column section I mean this one actually beam section it is beam section not column so here I am putting say 45 here putting 70 because I had like that 450 and 70 so that's what I have done 450 75 it is centimeter so I have taken 45 and 70 so apply so it is done so let's go for calculation option here what we'll do concrete characteristic strengths 25 but in our sheet it is 30 and fy is 400 so let's do that so here i will take 30 and from longitudinal reinforcement here it is showing I need it 40 I mean 400 from here I will take the bottom steel as 25 and top steel 15 25 and 15 now let's go transverse transverse actually I need only number 10 so click on number 10 I am done additional 
you can keep say 15 so we are done here already i changed 400 so everything perfect so okay now let's go for reinforcement pattern what it is go for bottom reinforcement i need one layer so put here one layer of steel because i already chose 25 bar i mean 25 dia bar so i put here one i think one layer is enough top reinforcement also i need only one layer this is done transverse leave as it is construction leave as it is only shapes i have to change the left hook and right hook i need 90 degrees so it is done click ok perfect now let's go for load definitions so let's look our page what is the load here look at service live load 14 superimposed dead load 8 so we'll put this value so let's check here say dead load i am putting here say 8 so add this then for the live load i shall put here say 14 and add this so i am done with the loads close this now we need to go for calculations so let's go for calculations calculate so we are done here you can go beam diagram or beam diagram here here it is showing beam diagram you can go for it is ultimate limit stage service limit stage so left support here moment m m r m c you can go through it and check it actually we will see the beam nodes all the things all important i mean uh, informations we'll check it in beam nodes so here you can see this one this is shear force this is bending moment here it is showing mc it is red color mr moment resistance it is this color so we are okay with that it looks like that but we will go for more details so what you will do first let's go for beam node then we will come here beam reinforcement because this i will compare it with our results what we have here this is very important so you can check here 30 already uh, 30 i already showed here that we need 30 here i showed here we need 30 and 400 so it is also showing here like that 30 and 400 so we are perfect i already told that i need a span length 8 meter because here it is 8 meter so it is showing the exact same thing so i think the moment will be very close this is canadian standard associations so here cover it is showing 
and another important things you have to mark here dead load and live load 1.25 1.5 they considered so i also calculated here 1.25 factor for the dead load and 1.5 factor for the live loads they also use the same thing so what we will do here we will go for checking the moment here we can see here m max 325 what i got here 323 i got mf factored bending moments i got 324 it looks like 324 here they got 325 so very very close this is shear and reinforcement we'll go for checking say here this is very important thing deflection so deflection is perfect also it is within this line so it is perfect our target is to check the reinforcement which is very much important if you look at here you can see here what i have here say i have taken die of steel 25 accordingly i calculated the effective depth of the beam and then i calculated the steel area using this equations mf by phi s f y z e so i got 1736 but i took a round figure say four numbers 25 bar so it is 2000 they also calculated four numbers 25 bar so it is perfect and this is top it is at the top four numbers 15 we are concerned with this one bottom the reason is here bottom reinforcement is it singly reinforced or not that is important to check so if you have experience of doing this so you will understand this how I calculated a by d less than 0 0.5 it must be so I calculated a divided by d it is less than 0 0.5 then I checked moment resistance it is very important this moment resistance must be greater than factored moment because we got factored moment here it is 324 but what about our moment resistance 403 so our design is perfect so here we got everything now we'll check the beam reinforcement how to do that click here so you'll get it so here i can bring it our beam so this is our beam as i said there will be say 425 at the bottom if you click here you will see here it is look at this one 4 red it is 425 and this is the stirrups we have 10 bar and top it is 15 so our design this is our section if you want to see the drawings we can see that also this is the drawing if you see the section look at bottom four four numbers 25 and top 415 and this is 10 that is stirrups so we got this so this is the drawing i think we are now perfect with everything what is needed for designing so i think it is done now so i think that's all for this beam design